Well, here's the stuff the dreams are made of. A beautiful young French actress who was picked from hundreds of others to star in her first American motion picture. She even gets to share the screen with none other than actor Richard Gere. She leaves her home in Paris to come to Southern California to shoot the film, then starts her whirlwind promotion tour, making her first talk show debut in the United States. Where else but here? Mm. How about that? It can only happen in Hollywood. And here's Mallory Kaprisky. Did it really happen that way? I mean, hundreds of other girls try it out and you win the role. Well, I suppose because I didn't see all the girls, but I heard they asked for a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, you came over from France to here to audition? No, I auditioned in Paris. And then they flew me here to do the screen test. And uh, I heard I was the only one, in fact. They flew in here. Did you know of Richard Gere before you did it? Sure, I did. Mm -hmm. Did you know of Ron Silver? Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I heard his feelings. So depressed. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've made films in France, though, haven't you? We have small movies, uh -huh. small parts. What's the difference between the film industry over there and what you've seen over here? Well, so far I don't have a big experience enough, you know, to tell you, but um, what I saw is that here it's very well organized and people know what they have to do. But in France, it's like, you know, a big uh, mess sometimes. And, uh, in you France wait. it is? Yeah, really uh -huh. sometimes, yeah, on movies. Do they have a Hollywood in France, a French version of Hollywood? What do you mean? I mean, like a center where all the films are done? One city that's sort uh, of the no. film? People, no, people like to do movies outside, you know, on so locations. So it could be anywhere at all. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What about working with Richard Gere? Was that a lot of fun It was for wonderful. Tell us a little bit about the movie. He's such a big sex symbol and all. And yes, you soon will be over here, too. Uh, I don't like this word, sex symbol. You don't? No. no we won't use it anymore. Uh, We're going to set it. Thank you. It. Okay, what do you like to be called? An actress. Mm, that would be nice. Okay. <laughs> That's what you are. I like, like the, I like the word sex symbol myself. Me, too. I but, you know, I don't want to... Right? She's got pointy That's shoes okay. on, and I don't know about you, but I don't want kicked. <laughs> For you, you mean? No, 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 I, that was, uh, <laughs> good. yeah, for me, sure, why not? Uh, the, the, the film with uh, Richard Gere, Breathless, if you could tell us a little bit about it, mm -hmm. and then we are going to show a scene from it. Oh, good. So, what I could say is that, uh, well, it's a story between two people, and uh, the girl is a student in UCLA, she studies architecture, and she's French, of course, she's living alone, her parents live I think probably in Paris, and uh, she missed that guy that is completely the opposite, you know, he's very crazy and wild, but she's serious and organized and she knows what she wants. She thinks a lot, but he doesn't, you know, he, he reacts a lot, he acts when, as soon as he thinks, and uh, that is the big difference between them. And the clip we have here is where he's waiting for you outside. Of UCLA. Of UCLA. Uh -huh. And we'll just leave it at that and take a look at Valerie Kaprisky in Breathless.